Hello viewers, this is Michael for three views, bringing you a new podcast to my segment called The Boy Toe Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to preach hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cost any audio feedback as well. And if you're under, and, and finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will take your adult limit if you're under 18. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will take your adult limit if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, then you can get to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, so anyway, let's get into the latest episode of Borto. So basically, so basically, we go, so basically, we, we start off at, at the Miss Village. You see the movie Kage has done word about, about, uh, about Kagura being dead, about Heavy Easter being dead, and how Borto now they stop the pirates from, you know, doing a sneak attack, you know, doing a little sneak attack against the Miss Village. So basically, the movie Kage was kind of, was kind of sad that, you was deeply sad that you know and, and that Kagura was is dead because he wanted Kagura to be the the, the, the next Mushi Kage. So anyway, his current and so the the Mushi Kage's current second in man, I forgot her name. So it just suggests that you know we should wipe out the we should finally end this world with these pirates and wipe them out once and for all. So basically, the movie character is saying like you know, much as I want to do that, you know, but well, he doesn't want to cost any more, you know, he wants he, he like you know he doesn't want to go that far unless unless it's the last resort. So basically, like, you know, if I can't find another way how to deal with these pirates, then you know. And, you know, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that road. So anyway, he got word to one of the guards that, uh, that, that is, uh, that is, uh, is, uh, with a long, his second command were, uh, wanted to see him and whatnot. So basically they bring it the, the guards brought it for in, and the guards had it for, you know, in my short stick, you know, staff with him. So so basically, they had Isabel's who told the guards also had, you know, Isabel's, you know, sword fist there in their custody as well. So anyway, so anyway, they started to, like, you know, Isabel and the music audio were like, they started to, you know, they started to, you know, start to uh, have some open dialogue. That, at this point, you know, Isabel knows that, you know, that the, that, that, that his pipe is not strong enough to keep, it's not very strong enough to keep up the, to this war between the mist in it. So basically, like, you know, the music audio know, he knows this because he, he thinks that, you know, he must be here for a reason, like, you know, he might, he, he probably, you know, you know, all the, uh, all the, all the, dealt, all the blows that his, his pirate clan has been dealt, and most likely they'll have the muscle to really keep up, keep up with this battle between the mystery. So anyway, so anyway, <laughs> It's to say that my father, my father, I like you know, I'm a realist. My father is basically is it's going up. So basically, like you know, I lost, I lost my, I lost most of my siblings. You know, in this war, it's just meaningless at this point. So basically, like you know, you help me take down my father. You know, you know, you help, you help me take down my father. You know, you know, I'll, you know, I take control of the of the of the pipe current and we all live in peace so basically that was that but you know even though the music higher even though the music higher was you know like he wanted to he wanted to you know, like you know he wanted to make it feel but you know there's still some hard feelings on both sides <laughs> or, or he still has some hard feelings about you know about his pirate people killing Kaga and whatnot but you know <laughs> you know but he was like you know big and work clear mind like you know maybe maybe this is to be the best deal to both for both sides at this current point 
<laughs> so anyway, before they hack out I any terms, you know, you know, uh, you know, it's the father, you know, was able to hack into the TV, to uh, into the TVs and radios, and gave a speech about him, uh, about him, and about him and Kaida, you know, about to about to launch a a final assault against the Mist Village and take, uh, you know, and take out the Mist Village once and for all. So basically, gangster kind of, you know, experience as a ship like, you know, you know, he was able to, able to, able to use the main ships, and, you know, was able to use the, the main ships of the, of, of the Fute Pirates, you know, and, you know, gave them some special, you know, was able to appear west left of their battle fleet ships, you know, like five ships and whatnot, and they ship, and they start to sail towards, you know, the mysteries and attacks, so, to attack the middle, the, the mystery, the mystery into a final assault. Isabel was like, you know, my father, like, you know, he was telling the booty car, I, I did not have any idea there was, uh, there was going to go through with this, like, you know, there was really going to go through with this. So anyway, he had no idea that, you know, you know, that you know that kind of it's it's still it's it's still down with the fold and whatnot or oh, none of that. So anyway, turns out that A route knew that you. So basically, like you know, kind of the A route kind of knew that you know that Ava was going to go to go behind his back, and somehow he 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 took control of the fish of the swordfish, you know, staff and used it to kill. Somehow took control of the staff, and somehow uh, basically. Uh, Oh, basically, the the sort of staff, you know, it started to react and kill Isba right in front of the Musikage and and the and the and the, the Musikage. And the Mojikage second hand, you know, kill, you know, destroyed the staff. So, so anyway, so anyway, and, and it's the final words where, like, you know, all he wanted to do is break peace and stop this meaningless battle once and for all. So anyway, so basically, it's very dead. So anyway, meanwhile, both of the others back at the mountain village. Was trying to deal with the shock that the the shock that Kaido is a it's a, is a one of the main members of the of the of the pirates. Uh, it's the main member of the pirates. So basically, like you now they didn't want to believe the cast of pirate that they had in custody about Kaido being a main family member of the pirate uh, of the clan that we the first uh, from power pirates and whatnot. So basically, the mayor came in with a radio, you know, where where Ella and and Kaida and Kaida were, you know, were broadcasting their speech on on the TV waves and the radio waves. So basically, it's been confirmed that Kaida is a member, uh, is a member of the uh, is a main member of the Pirates and blah blah blah. So basically, there's no doubt that Kaida that Kaida is now down with, down with his pirate uh, his pirate clan cause to to destroy the Miss Bill. So anyway, Borte was kind of conflicted, like kind of, like, you know, kind of was a nice dude, you know, something like, you know, uh, something must have driven him to, uh, driven him to do this. So basically, the pirate in the country say that, you know, when you guys hurt, when you and Kaga, you know, he injured his sister, you know, it, it, it must have drove him to this point to finally realize that he is a pirate. So basically, Bo even though Bo and the uh, so basically the, the others were like, you know, like, you know, were, were not going to pose and cause of like, this whole situation, and basically Bo and decided to maybe, maybe, Maybe to, uh, to once again try to, uh, to uh, you know, try to reach with Kaida and stop this, and stop this for going, uh, uh, and stop this madness once and for all, and try to reach with Kaida, Kaida again. So basically, he grabbed, you know, he grabbed Kaida's sword, and basically he went to go to the midst of the two trying to talk to Kaida, to Kaida. But you know, Bunta and Kia were not happy about this. 
and they tried to stop them. So basically, even though Kawaki was not down with this whole situation, Rebe, but a lot of a lot of everybody else were kind of were not behind Boruto at the situation, so this is not their. Technically, this is not their problem, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. So, so basically, but we really, we like, we really decided to keep Danta and Kyo busy while, while, while Miki, while Miki and, so, and Sarada, and Sarada, you know, and Sarada, who helped Boruto get to the misbillage and try to, and try to get, uh, get Carter to, you know, from, um, from, you know, from, you know, from starting a war. Which uh, which will end badly. So like, so basically, Gensu Gensu kind of you know, spending his time as a shipper, he was able to salvage what's left of the, you know, once again, salvage what's left of the of of, of the pipe of of his pipe clan ships, and you know, and, and part of the course to and part of the course that will lead them straight into the you know straight into the misfit. So basically, like you know. It was it was a joint storm as well. It was all rainy, even when a weather storm was and K started to start started to you know start it started whatnot. So basically everything seems like it's going on. Everything is it seems like this is this is going to come to a head. So anyway. So I uh, the Mushi Kage like you know was sending the his he was sending the fleet of the mist village to intercept the pirates because he knows that the only way uh, the only the straight way to to the mist village is through a channel uh, it, it's through a channel so basically the they want to intersect so basically like you know he wants to intersect them before they get through that channel and whatnot, and, you know that way, you know, stop them to get into the mission. So anyway, so anyway, so everybody was pay So basically, both sides were, you know, both sides were parents of war, and Bo and this and the episode ended with Boruto, and along with Miki and Sarada, you know, we were heading towards the mission and trying to stop and try to and try to stop this this. For, uh, for you know, and try to st you know, and try to stop the score once and for all, and this is how the episode ended. So anyway. So anyway, you know, this year, this was a good episode. So basically, it's really, I mean, this is this was a really good episode. So basically, I can uh, you know. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, there's a lot there's a lot of pros and cons, you know, about. Uh, about the secret revenge, you know, of the one is war, war justified or not justified and whatnot. So basically, about if you know, when is the right time to go to war? When the, when the not not the right time to go to war? So basically, it was a lot of that in this episode. And plus, in and plus about ethics, about you know, about uh, about about about, uh, about friends turning into enemies as well. But you know, this was a good episode. So anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Good, bad, or just okay? Anyway, sign off one.